Hello friends, in continuation with the last lecture, today we are going to see the another kind of the uh, measurement of the pressure or another kind of the transducer which can measure the uh, pressure that is the LVDT. Already we have seen the uh, in the previous chapter about the uh, working principle of the LVDT. Actually it is uh, a linear variable differential transducer or the transformer and is a okay, very widely used for the measurement of the uh, pressure. Okay. When uh, such a type of the device is used in the measurement, uh, AC voltage is connected to a primary winding of the transformer. The secondary winding uh, consists of the uh, two windings uh, that are connected uh, so that their outputs are at the opposite polarities. Already we have seen its principle, right? So primary will be having the uh, AC voltage applied or primary winding and the secondary will be having the two up, uh, two windings having the opposite polarity of the uh, voltages will be developed across and we can get the differential output and uh, in between we can have the magnetic core and uh, uh, as the core gets moved uh, through this uh, windings uh, between the primary and secondary then obviously the output voltage will get uh, changed or the difference between the output voltages will get changed right as the uh, core progresses through these uh, windings right a movable core is attached to a mechanical uh, in a pressure sensing device such as the bellows, diaphragm or the burden tube means the, instead of the displacement actually we are uh, measuring the displacement of the core only but that uh, core is uh, attached to the uh, uh, pressure sensing element okay such as the diaphragm uh, bellow or the uh, burden kind of the uh, tubes so if the uh, that pressure process pressure gets changed the mechanical sensing element will move through this uh, windings and it causes the movable core to move yeah this is the something arrangement i was just talking about it right so this is a core and then it is uh, connected uh, to the burden tube through the pulley uh, so as the pressure gets changed uh, through this burden tube uh, fixed end will get uh, moved up or down okay up or down here uh, i'm just talking about a strain or unstrain and then the uh, we can have the movement of uh, this is movement is attached to this uh, core and the core will move through this uh, winding and the output voltage will get uh, changed uh, accordingly is uh, connected to an uh, voltage induced uh, output of the transformer and it will indicate the pressure so burden tube acting as a primary detector or the sense primary sensing element mm -hmm. which senses the pressure and converts it into the uh, a displacement of uh, free end of the uh, tube. The displacement of the free end uh, moves uh, the core of the LVDT which in turn proportional to the movement of the uh, core. Now output voltage is proportional to the movement of the core and in turn proportional to the displacement of the uh, free end of the burden tube. So it is not directly proportional to the uh, pressure is directly proportional to the output. No, it is actually the two stage process happens. So, so there are two stages of the transactions happening. First, the pressure is converted into the displacement, and then the dis by the burden tube, and then the displacement is converted into its analogous voltages by the uh, LVDT. Next is the strain gauge transducers. Uh, strain gauge transducers consist of the series of the wires uh, that are supported by the some type of the insulations. The basic principle behind it is that the, uh, actually it's a cross-sectional area of the wire changes, the wires uh, resistance will get also changed. Uh, so its physical appearance also gets changed, so its resistance will get uh, changed. So the resistance of the wire can be manually adjusted by uh, stretching or uh, straining the uh, wire. Uh, this results into the changes in the resistance uh, which allow uh, strain gauges to indicate the changes in the process uh, pressure so this is also something like okay, uh, another kind of the measurement of the uh, pressure or another type of the measurement of the uh, pressure so there are uh, two types of the strain gauges uh, already we have seen that uh, these type of the strain gauges in the previous chapter that is unbonded strain gauge and the bonded uh, strain gauge the uh, unbonded strain gauge uh, actually it consists of a stationary member and the movable armature so both of them have insulated pins that support a series of the uh, small wires 
Oh. You can see over here uh, is a pressure measurement using the unbonded uh, strain gauge. So pressure will be applied through this hole is a primary sensing element, and then uh, diaphragm is here, and th this diaphragm will get moved up and down, and this will um, change the spring resistance or the its movement up and down through this pulley arrangement you can see over here and then obviously we can get the measurement of the pressure in terms of the changes happening in the uh, resistance of the uh, wire thread so the movable armature of the unbonded strain gauge is connected to the mechanical sensing element such as the bellows or the diaphragm here we are here in the uh, diaphragm when the pressure gets changed the is mechanical pressure element will move a movable armature to change the tension on the wire in the strain gauge the changing the tension on the wires will change the resistance and in this way the pressure is indicated on the strain gauge how we can just uh, indicate the pressure the changing the tensions on the wire uh, actually it will change the resistance and obviously we get the information regarding the pressure strain gauge uh, transducers here so another kind is the bonded uh, strain gauges the small wires uh, previously we have seen the unbonded kind here we are seeing the uh, bonded strain gauges so the small wires or the pieces of the foil are bonded uh, to a piece of the insulating material with adhesive so that this is piece of the foil on which the some adhesive material is attached uh, so that uh, we can uh, just fix the uh, our gauge on the uh, this carrier usually bonded strain gauge have the two sets of wire or the foil one set is called as active strain gauge element and which is subjected to the strain so if this is active strain gauge, actually it is a, a active strain uh, gauge element and it is subjected to the uh, uh, strain Okay, and there will be the, uh, another stationary element or we can call it as another set is the dummy element and which is not get uh, strained so we can have have the uh, for the some comparison uh, relatively we can compare both one is uh, unstained and another is a strained one so the difference can be easily found out while measuring the pressure the bonded strain gauge is fastened to a some movable part of the mechanical pressure uh, sensing uh, these uh, gauges uh, often glued to diaphragm and that will bend or flex when the pressure uh, gets changed. Slip or the dummy is glued to some part of the pressure element that does not move or thus it remains stationary. The deflection of the diaphragm alters the gauge resistance and unbalances an associated uh, bridge uh, circuitry. So the bonded strain gauge suppose uh, less from the long term instability they are only uh, half uh, sensitive as half as sensitive as uh, unbonded uh, strain gauges uh, this type of the strain gauges are the part of the uh, bridge uh, circuit so you can see over here the uh, pressure is applied through this and it will get sensed sense through this uh, diaphragms uh, which are make, made it as an arrangement one and this diaphragm will get uh, gets moved and because of this the strain gauge attached to it on the surface will get uh, strained and this strain gauge resistance will get changed on application of the pressure and this imbalances the uh, bridge circuitry and it will result us into the output voltage and it will be measured uh, in terms of the uh, strain Thank you.